How's everybody doing tonight? How's everybody doing? Gonna get this short started right now. Gonna get everybody going. This is, uh, if you don't know who I am, they call me Tank. From Uncle Sam, Miss Guided Children. And um, I'm here to uh, go on a little rant with you. A little patriotic rant. Alright? So, how's everybody doing tonight? Reyna. Hello, Reyna. How you doing? How's everybody doing? Kristen, how's everybody doing? Good? Okay. Want to get this party started. I'm going to talk about a, something that's been uh, picking on my brain. Um, this morning, I went on Instagram, and I had a little rant, one-minute rant. Um, I really enjoy Instagram. We've got a lot of young pups in Instagram being, being very opinionated. So, how you doing, Amanda? Corey, what's going on? Julie, hello. Danny, what's up, man? Beautiful day. Beautiful night in America. Beautiful night in America, man. All right, so this morning, all right, we, we heard about uh, Donald Trump just uh, dropping the hammer all around the, the world, okay? Strength is might. And we are in a stage in this country that we are no longer bowing down to the rest of the world. We are showing who is the, you know, savage SOBs who run this, you know, uh, world right now. And uh, Donald Trump is showing that, especially with James Mattis. Okay? Enough is enough. I mean, somebody's got to be in charge. See, a lot of these people are upset. They're upset and angry. They're calling, you know, Donald Trump a warmonger and he's dropping bombs and the bombs cost a half a billion dollars. And we have to remind these snowflakes that these bombs have been accumulating dust in a warehouse for a very long time. And these bombs are bored. They need a place to land and so forth. You know, Donald Trump is going to make those bombs uh, you know, uh, you know, do, do their work. We're going to, you know, we're going to de definitely get our money's worth out of those bombs. So, you know, a lot of people say, well, it's a half a billion dollars. Okay. Well, you know, if, if we're destroying ISIS targets, not listen, I'm going to, I'm going to give you the devil's advocate with the ISIS target. A lot of people are saying is CIA, CIA tunnels they created, blah, 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 blah. Okay. You know what? Fine. CIA tunnels that were created under the Obama administration because it was Obama who created, funded ISIS and armed ISIS. And he even, you know, they even admit it. The whole administration admitted they armed and trained ISIS. So, okay, so it was the CIA tunnels with, with, uh, ISIS rats in them. And, uh, we, we got to, uh, we got to uh, send them to, to meet their 72 virgins. Well, that's a great thing, people. That is a beautiful thing in America. And, um, you know, so we spent half a billion dollars on a bomb, right? On a, you know, the mother of all bombs to drop on these cave dwellers. Well, this is a great thing. That is a beautiful thing. That, I mean, you can't be more patriotic than that. That is a patriotic thing right there. I mean, that, that makes everybody give you a freedom boner. I mean, since this whole bombing started, I've been waking up with a freedom, freedom boner every single day. I got a seriously issue with a freedom boner erection. I'm going to have to go see a doctor because I'm serious. There is a problem with me right now. Okay, so I'm really enjoying this whole bombing thing. And, um, you know, so if you look at it from a realistic way, okay, so we were going out there and we... Showing who's the boss, especially ISIS, especially these cave dwellers. I would love to call them something else, but I can't because if I did, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna definitely gonna get banned for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and call them cave dwellers. And, um, I think that's the nice name to call them, but you know what I would call them otherwise. And, uh, so we spent a half a billion dollars. All right. And the good thing about that, let's look at a positive thing is if you think about it, this probably was the headquarters, one of the headquarters of ISIS and these terrorists, planning terrorist attacks all over the world. So when you look at a terrorist attack being committed here in America, 
We're not going to, our taxpayers are not going to spend just billions of dollars. I mean, the Boston bombing alone probably cost us a lot more, more money than that. They had to secure a whole city. They had to close down a whole city 72 hours. Okay, just for a damn bomb inside of a, a, a pressure cooker. So you know what? Um, I'm all for it, man. Especially the bombs that need to be used. They're going to be expired soon. And Donald Trump ain't playing around, man. He's, he's making all these bombs worthwhile, right? Get, sending freedom all over. I mean, it's like Santa Claus December Christmas party all over the world, man. Here comes Donald Trump, Santa Claus, and a big old reindeer just dropping on bombs on everybody. Woo! That's some awesome shit, man. Freedom. Here comes freedom, baby. Hey, North Korea, check this out. North Korea is going to have a wake-up call. China don't want none of that. Russia don't want none of that. I mean, it's funny because the rest of the world is looking at America like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, damn, Donald Trump, oh, man, nobody wants to mess with him. James Madden, oh, you know, so, I mean, the whole world is just like literally just shaking, shaking in their boots, man. You know why? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why the whole world is now just paying attention, trying definitely a lot of respect. There ain't no, hey, listen, there ain't no obozo, obozo bowing down to the rest of the world. We have Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump and James Mattis, and they are bowing down for nobody. So, so what the world is looking at it like, oh shit, oh, we, we, be, we better behave. We better not mess with America. You know, they don't, we, we don't need, listen, we don't need China. We don't need Russia. We don't need the world. We we rule the world. You know, we've been, listen, we, the funny thing about this whole thing, we've been at war since kingdom come. We have been at war since kingdom come. We have troops all over the world in every single place, right? China, they can have the most troops. I mean, they literally, they can have the most monkeys that anybody else. They can have millions of billions of but having the most monkeys, as you know, does not make you the baddest in the club, you know? Russia can have the most crazy, crazy vodka drinking Russians. That still doesn't make you the most craziest in the block. But when you got America, America is just filled with little pit bulls, Rottweilers, German Shepherds, uh, English Bulldogs. We're filled with all kinds of crazy MOs, right? And, um, you know, we, we, we love to fight. We just love to fight. It is an American thing. And war is a racket, whether we like it or not. See, a lot of people say, well, you know, why we got to be doing this? Why we got to be doing that? Well, if we don't do it, then guess what? Russia will do it. China will do it. Now, look, look, everybody's behaving. Everybody's being so good to America these days. Haven't you noticed? Look, China, like, telling North Korea, you, be hey, listen, you screwed up. I ain't coming to help you this time. I ain't coming to save you. You really screwed up. And we're about to go to North Korea right now. We're going to spank that little boy. We're going to spank that little, you know, special kid. He's a special kid. That kid is special. He's special. We need to, we need to give him some, some, uh, TLC, you know, some, some love and tenderness, right? Um, you know, <laughs> gain their, uh, hearts and minds. It, we're, we're, listen, we're, we are all about, Gaining hearts and minds all over the world right now. It is freedom all over, man. You know, so I'm, I'm serious. And you know, you got, so you got the Democrats, occupied Democrats. Oh, they're freaking out. Occupied Democrats are freaking out all over the place. And they're just going, they're just losing their mind. They're losing their mind. They're like, oh, but, but Donald Trump is like, but, but Obama, Obama threw a lot of bombs. But there's a difference, my friend. There's a difference. You can have a moron. Dropping a bunch of bombs in the middle of nowhere, calling his friends, his cousins, and telling them, hey, hey, Ice, hey, hey, uh, Abdul, hey, Abdul, I'm about to bomb your building. Can you just leave for like a few hours so I can go bomb you for a second? Thank you. Or how about, how about Abdul? Abdul, yeah, this is Obozo. Yeah. Well, tell me exactly what building you want me to bomb so I know, so I can tell my people. That's exactly what was going on in the Obama administration. He was letting his boys know what he was bombing. It was all empty buildings, empty, build, empty buildings, a school, and churches. I mean, that, that was the, that was the, uh, uh, the memo of the Obozo administration. Now you got Donald Trump. We don't need to drop a bunch of bombs. We just need to drop the right ones, baby. And right on top of them, hey, look, 35, 
You know, it's, it's, the thing about this beautiful thing is 36, 36 cave dwellers, right? Those are the bodies we were able to count. I guarantee you it would have been a thousand of these cave dwellers in there. But the drones in the sky and the assessment on the ground, all able to accumulate was 36 bodies. I guarantee you it took them like 24 hours just to count the body parts. A arm, I see a leg, I see a head, I see a piece of meat. I see somebody's eyeball. Okay, we got one. How about the next one? And that's how it was the whole time. Finally, they got the 36, okay? Okay, okay, 36 is a good number. So I'm telling you right now, it's great to be in America. It is great, man. It's finally great to be in America, right? Just bombing the shit out of everybody, you know? Um, just letting the world know who's the boss. And it's it's like, it's got to be like that. It's just got to be that way. There's no other choice. There's no cool but yeah, and we're not going to have a barbecue together, and we're not going to come down and just, you know, have a little, you know, uh, hugs and kisses and love, peace, and hair grease. Ain't going to be none of that. It is America, and we're in charge. Yes, we are the police of the world, so therefore, shut the hell up, all right? Do what we tell you, or we're going to be like the United Airlines and kick you the hell out. That's how it works. That's exactly how it works, baby. Yeah, get some. Get some. Anyways, guys, think about that. And now you got some ammo to go back to uh, to the occupants, Democrats, and let them know where we stand. You know, keep dropping those bombs, man. Keep dropping those bombs. We got 18 more to go. So keep just keep dropping. I mean, make the whole place a glass parking lot, a beautiful glass parking lot. And after we're done with it, we're going to go out there and build a beautiful Disney World. Because... It, it, we need to have a Disney World. We just need to have a beautiful Disney World out there. I think I think it will be a great place to take our family. Once this whole place is clean, and the only thing that is walking around is goats and camels, I think it will be a great time to go ahead and build a beautiful Disney World. What do you guys think, right? Oasis Disney World. That's what we should call it. Donald Trump Oasis Disney World. You know? That, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it, man. I'm all for it. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you very much. You guys have a beautiful night. That's about we got for this show. We're probably going to have more shows like this in the future. But what i like you to do is share the hell out of it. Oh, and by the way, we got a special decals right now going on for $4.99. So make sure you support it. That's right. We're capitalist sons of bitches. So make sure you stick that decal somewhere, especially on one of these, uh, you know, Hillary Trump supporters stickers in the back of their car. I can't wait to see their face when they see Uncle Sam's got the children on it. Semper Fi, do or die, get some. Oorah.